Skyward Sword, one of, if not the most controversial Zelda game ever. Fans of the series always seem to find something new to talk trash about this game, whether it be the motion controls, it being too linear, or the game just overall not being that fun. Whatever it may be, there's always one thing that people talk and complain about, and of course, that would be Fee and how she is so annoying. But to be honest, I actually like Fee. Like, I actually like her quite a bit. So much that I decided to talk about her in this episode's memorable Zelda moments. And I'll be talking about the moment, Fee's farewell. I bet that most fans couldn't wait to see Fee leave, and probably got pretty excited when Fee left to go in the Master Sword. But for me, I was honestly genuinely upset when Fee left. You see, the thing is, I never saw what was so bad about Fee. Do I understand where people are coming from? Of course I do, but I never felt the same way that other people were feeling. One complaint is that Fee is just as, if not more annoying than Navi from Ocarina of Time. And while I can see where people are coming from, I just can't fully agree. I felt like whenever Fee came out to tell you something, it actually was pretty important. Was it all important? No, it wasn't. But with Navi, it was always to tell you something that he already knew, and whenever you wanted to go off and do something else. Oh, you want to go fishing? Have fun with Navi constantly reminding you that you need to go to the water temple. Anyway, back to Fee. To me, Fee was never annoying, but actually pretty interesting. I honestly liked how she would always make her calculations for different things, and how she was always there for you, because I felt like she was always a part of the story and a part of your adventure. I mean, she even becomes the Master Sword. So yeah, that's pretty important if I do say so myself. So for me at least, seeing Fee Lee was actually pretty hard for me to watch. The song that plays doesn't even help the situation at all. In fact, it makes it worse. But what makes this moment so memorable is when you think about it, Fee actually never leaves. If you look at the Zelda timeline, Skyward Sword is the first in the timeline. So that would mean that Fee is in the Master Sword in Minish Cap, Ocarina of Time, and every other Zelda game with the Master Sword. So that means that Fee is always with the hero and is always willing to serve with him. That thought alone is enough for me to always remember this moment. 